So I'm just in one of the buildings of the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. Uh, it's one of the oldest and most historical buildings in Maastricht. I'm on my way at the moment to go and see Viva Baker. He's the Programme Director of Culture of Arts, Science and Technology Programme. Hi Viva. Colin, great to meet you. Welcome. Thank Come you. in, take a seat. Thank you very much. Hi Viva, it's really great to get to meet you, but could you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you've been involved in in the past? Yeah, I'm, I'm now Professor of Technology and Society here um, at the Maastricht University, but I was trained as a physicist and an engineer and then studied philosophy and wrote a dissertation on the sociology and history of technology. And after that I came to Maastricht. Which, uh, which course is it that you're involved in at the moment? I'm the Director of Studies of the, the two-year research master called uh, Cultures of Arts, Science and Technology. I'm also teaching in, in bachelor programs and, and teaching in other master programs, but this is the, my main task at the moment. Great, so you're still involved in teaching at the moment as well? Yes, yes. Okay. Particularly lecturing and supervising uh, students who write theses and, and other pieces of work, a bit, a bit more rarely tutoring, which I love to do, but there isn't much time for that. <laughs> Great. And uh, could you tell me something more about the, the master? The, the core idea is to study the relations between technology and society and science and the arts. And we ask questions how one shapes the other. For example, um, when um, a cross moves from the Sinsafas church to the museum that is next to the church or to a further museum of religious art in Utrecht, how then the identity of that object changes because of the relations around the other objects, the technology that goes into conserving the gold and the, and the metal, etc. So it's about the relations between the technology and the arts and science and society. So it's quite a, quite a broad program then. I mean, it depends on how you look at it. It's, it, it is huge in the sense that it is, um, it is about India and it's about the Netherlands, it's about water and it is about nanotechnology, uh, it's about objects of art and it is about new media on the internet and it seems to be all over the place. We think that it isn't. We think that the common core is how we study it. So we study all these, say, questions as cultures. We wonder what the culture around such an object of art is, what the culture of water management in India is, and, and compare that to water management in the Netherlands and then see how we, from that comparison, can learn. Ah, okay. What does uh, a typical student look like, if there, if there is such a thing? The, I mean, this is a research master. Um, it's two years. It means a lot of writing, a lot of reading. Um, and there were days when we thought that the research master students um, would need a high average uh, grade in their bachelors. I don't say that anymore. Uh, what I'm now saying is that the students in these research masters, they are adventurous, they dare to take risks, they, they, are not, they, 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 they like to jump from historical questions to sociological to philosophical ones and move back again. So their character is more adventurous, I would say, than, than anything else. And, and at the same time be very rigorous in, in their arguing, uh, in their writing, in their methodologies. So really encompassing a, a broad range. It's, it's encompassing a broad range of methodologies in the, say, the interpretative sciences. So everything from history, philosophy, um, language analysis to doing interviews, uh, anthropological observations, uh, that, that range of social science and humanities uh, methodologies is covered. I know this is probably going to be the toughest question, but in a nutshell, could you explain why you think the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences at Maastricht University uh, is the best? I would say go here if you really want to take control over your own learning. 
Um, so the, the system that we have here, both within CAST, but I think it would more generally apply, is that really good students have a chance to become even better because there are more opportunities to follow extra path, to do extra reading, um, and then come back in the, big, in, in, in the, in the group of students, uh, learn from the other path that the other students have followed. So I would say come to Maastricht if you are willing to work on your own, if you have a clear idea of what you want to do, and if you are interested in those interdisciplinary crossroads, because that would not only apply to CAST, but also to other programmes on the faculty. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time, Vibe. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. It was nice, and enjoy your carnival. Eh? Thank you very much. I will. Have a nice day.